there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Vicenza, Italy, a cute town here in the Veneto region. And today we're gonna to talk about are some day trips that you can do from here in Vicenza because I know a lot more tourists have started to come here. There's a really big US base here, so their families are visiting their, their, their sons and their daughters here, their uncles, their cousins, their friends. And so I thought I'd actually give you some of the better day trips you can do from here in Vicenza. Because once you see the Piazza dei Signori here and you go see the Villa Rotonda and you enjoy the Bigoli and all the really great stuff here in Vicenza, maybe a spritz with Aperol a couple of times a day, you probably want to go out and explore a bit more. And so this is my kind of like top five like day trips to take from Vicenza because you're going to be here you're going to see some other stuff and obviously the number one day trip you do want to do when you're coming from Vicenza is actually going to Venice okay and when you go into Venice make sure you get off at the Venezia Santa Lucia station not Venezia Mestre Mestre is the is the train station that's on the mainland you want to get off at Santa Lucia St. Lucie you want to get off at that one on the island okay so make sure you get off at the right one and when you're there what you're going to do is just wander and explore the islands there I mean it's just such a great thing going over the canals and getting lost and all this kind of stuff and don't worry if you get lost I mean it's an island and they'll have signs saying Rialto that way and Stazione the, the, the train station that way so don't worry if you get lost you'll be fine and when you go around and you're seeing the, the Rialto bridge and you're going over that or you of course go to Piazza San Marco and you go into the Basilica San Marco when you're there and all the gold inside it's great right next to that you can go up the bell tower or you can go into the Ducal Palace there there's tons of other churches that are there you want to grab something to eat maybe grab some uh, spaghetti that's you know black spaghetti that's tinted with the ink of squid yes or some pasta with some sardines yes of course you want to have some of that too you're gonna to have some really great stuff when you are there and the thing is is it's really easy to get there and they actually do have like the regional train that takes longer to get there but it costs next to nothing or you can take the faster train, like one of the Freccias that are going through here that go to Venice, it'll be a lot faster, but I don't really think it's worth the money for what you pay and the amount of time you save, it's not necessarily worth it. So easy, great, famous city to enjoy. And also if you're here, it works as a good like base being to Vicenza and then heading to Venice because it's so expensive staying in Venice with all the tourists and stuff. You might have more Italian time staying here in Vicenza than heading there, okay? now. As you know, Venice, millions of tourists visit a year, so it's kind of overrun. If you're looking for a smaller day trip, something that's like, you know what, Mark, I want to sleep in until 10, go grab a train, visit a town for a few hours, then come back. The easiest one from here in Vicenza is Cittadella, and you look at it, it looks like Citadel. But when you go there, you understand. I understand why it's called Cittadella, because it's a walled city, and you pay like five euros to go up, and you can walk the walls around and, and go chill out at the square there. There's a few museums and churches you can see, but it just makes for one of these good, like, my God, am I in some kind of Game of Thrones or Lord of Ring, Lord of the Rings, like, city? This is so cool. It's just a really great day trip. I know my students went there last week, and they really enjoyed it when they went. And every time I've gone, I've had a good time there. And the thing is, it's so close. It's such an easy train ride. It is really wake up at 10, go at 11, stay there, have lunch, walk the walls, come back. You're back in time for spritz with your buddies later on. So that's the second one. Third day trip I recommend you do, uh, this is going back to a bigger city, is Verona. You know, Romeo and Juliet Verona? Yes, that's not that far down the way here. You can grab a train there, pretty much hourly getting down there, simple to do. When you are there, it's awesome. When you walk into the city, through the city gates, you come in, you'll see this big, huge Roman arena. You're like, oh, that's so cool. Can we do tours of it? Yeah, you can do tours of it, but what you really want to go do is, actually, they still have concerts there. So yeah, you can go see Pearl Jam or Red Hot Chili Peppers or whoever you want. It's still in use like the acoustics are so good they still use it it's just a really really cool thing so you got the arena that's there you got the Piazza del Erbe and that's the like best square to check out there there's little snack shops there's little like food stalls there's also you know souvenir things there it's just really beautiful square to walk around and Verona has got a lot of nice little squares you can visit which is really cool of course since Romeo and Juliet's you know a popular thing you know because of Shakespeare and all this stuff there is Juliet's balcony you can go to and no it's not the real Juliet's balcony but you know you can see how it could be inspiring to people and so they got a statue of Juliet there you can go see if you want to see some of the castles that are there there's the Castel Vecchio the old castle that's kind of off to the side on the river you can walk through that and see that or you can walk up the hill to St. Peter's Castle or Castel de San Pietro you can go up there for some really cool views of the city and if you're looking for something to eat when you're in Verona I'm gonna let you know Verona is famous for its horse 
Yes, horse meat. You can have horse meat ragu when you're there. So pasta, if you want to put some horse meat ragu on there, there's some of that. Or you just eat the horse meat with maybe some polenta or something like that. Oh, I've had it before, and I know it sounds weird eating it, but it actually is pretty good. There's a lot of different varieties you can have there, but that's a traditional thing from Verona. Now, the fourth place I recommend going, if you're looking for another like small town, Italy feel kind of place, Bassano del Grappa. You know grappa, the, the schnapps, the, the Italian liquor? Yeah, it's named that. That's the same grappa, okay? You go there, there's a couple cute museums, a couple cute churches you can go through, walk around the town. But what you want to do, you go over the covered bridge, you see this great view of the old town, it's beautiful. But then you go back on the bridge and they actually sell grappa for you and you drink grappa on the covered bridge. And it's actually kind of a popular place on the weekends. So you see a lot of young people coming there. I know I've been to some bachelor parties. We ended up going to Bassano del Grappa, had to go to Padavena, but that's another story and we had our shots there and enjoyed the nightlife and the food there so it is a really nice like small town place to visit as a tourist but a really Italian one as well then the fifth place I have for you is actually going to Padova which is also really close to here again you can take a faster or a slower train to get there or a bus the bus is like 40 minutes the slow trains like 25 minutes the fast train 16 minutes I mean it's pretty pretty close to be here it's a university town so some people like study there but they live here and so the trains can be a little busy in the morning in the afternoon but nothing bad but when you go there you have some really cool sites so if you're Catholic maybe you remember St. Anthony of Padova yeah that that's it so obviously the Basilica of St. Anthony that's a place you got to go cool church you see the domes and the spires and stuff like that from the outside the inside's beautiful as well they got some nice relics there to check out so you have that Obviously, you can go to the Duomo when you're there. There's a nice Piazza di Signore, the main square there. I actually like the parks in Padova. So there's some parks that will have a bunch of statues like this one here. It's just a really cool thing. And what I like about Padova is it's a university town. So you have a much younger feel to it. But probably the one thing you really want to see the most when you go there, there's a chapel there. Okay, I could, I mean, it's Capella and then Descovergi. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'll just put it down there. But when you go in, I mean, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, when you go in, it's climate control because they want to see save the interior because the interior it's all blue inside and when you walk around it's like oh my god this is just gorgeous like you're looking at every little piece in there so make sure you do grab a ticket it's in a kind of like in a park area so you walk into it get your ticket go through once you're out you don't get to go back in so make sure you take it all in when you're there but it is really cool so those are my five kind of main sites to see now there are other day trips you could go to you go up to Morostica and you can see where they have the the life-size chest set there the castle behind it if you're there at the right time of the you can see where they act out full like human sized chest there or you can go to Recuado and try the water there and stuff like that there's all kinds of cool things and all these places you can go for Vicenza will give you a different feel of Italy and a different feel of Veneto than here in Vicenza which is kind of cool so you can get a nice feel of the area when you're here and they're all super easy day trips bus or train no problem to get there if you got your own car you can do that too no problem so I hope this helps you know some of the easy day trips that you can do from here in Vicenza so you can enjoy your stay here even more don't get me wrong there's no problem staying here and enjoying Vicenza with all the great stuff here but I know some people you want to get out and explore and I have I have tomorrow free what can I do I hope this can help you out and if you have other day trips you suggest people should do when they're here in Vicenza or just in Veneto in general put in the comment section below so we can help other travelers to the region to see more of this beautiful part of Italy Anyway, I wish you all the best and I will say thank you to everybody for watching. A subscription or a like or a thumbs up or whatever, a comment, we really appreciate it. If you want to find other videos, maybe tips on visiting Vicenza, you'll find them all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you do like these videos, hit that subscribe button and we put out a new travel video every Wednesday and Saturday. So big thank you to everybody, a big grazie, and a special grazie to all of our patrons on Patreon who make videos like this possible. If you want to find out how you can help keep us making honest travel videos, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out how. And I'll say bye from Vicenza.